Hello, YouTube family in America. This is the long-awaited episode two. I'm not dressed up for it, but I did, I do have my hat. I really like this hat. I can't get over it. It's really cute. I'm going to have to put this down today because, uh, you know, as a serious topic, right? Now, episode two. Why is it so darn hard to lose weight? And the reason that it's so darn hard to lose weight is because, America, we are eating when we are not hungry. When our body does not need any nutrition. Our body's probably looking at us like, why are you putting that in your mouth? I am not hungry. Did I tell you I was hungry? No. We eat because we're nervous, we're upset, we're agitated, or we're just bored. I ate a bunch of stuff the other week because I was just bored. Okay, so one the reason why it's so darn hard to lose weight, episode two, because we eat when our body does not need nutrition. Okay, so I think you're going to learn a little bit better with some props, okay? So here is pecan pie. Let me show you up close. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're not going to ever discuss what happened to the rest of the pie. Okay, we're just going to deal with this little delicious piece of sugary goodness, all right? Now you see the pie. Now the pie does not look that good. It doesn't look that good because it's in this tan, you know, in the pan. Is a but I'm going to fix it up for you, so just hold on. Okay, YouTube family, this here is the real deal. This is China. Occupied or unoccupied, whatever. That right there, back there, that means something very important, you know, to people who know. You know, 50 years ago when people cared about China, I love China. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece of pie on the china okay move it over here like that okay awesome Okay, so we've got our friend, the pecan pie, right? And then we've got our friend, natural vanilla ice cream, in our ready whip, all right? So all this together, people, is why it is so darn hard to lose weight. Now, did my body, does my body need the pecan pie, the Breyers ice cream, and the ready whip in a can? No, it doesn't. It doesn't need that. 50 years ago, if I would have been working at hard labor, would my body have needed that? No. Maybe some steak, maybe some potatoes, stuff like that. You understand? We got too much time on our hands. We're too stressed out. We're eating for emotional reasons. I was, like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves is eating when I'm bored. Um, so I just need to get out, work, exercise, do things, take up time so that you're not bored and you're not emotionally eating okay um and then one caveat which is like you know army speak um when you break up with a boyfriend or girlfriend yeah you're in a title to overeat a little bit just a little bit maybe maybe 24 hours maybe some ice cream some chocolate and then that's it and then you are no longer allowed okay so you get one free chow down when you Break up with somebody. That makes sense. I never did that. I don't know. Some people do it. Looks like a lot of people do it. Okay, so you need to get in touch with why you're eating when you feel a certain way. When you're eating, before you put something in your mouth, you need to think, am I hungry? Does my body need nutrients? And is what I'm eating going to give my body the nutrients that I need? 
All right. Um, there's no denying it that in America over the years, the population is heavier or more overweight. You know, a lot of obese people, um, not only in the United States, but worldwide. Right. A lot of stuff that we eat, uh, the carbs and the processed food, uh, it has a delicious flavor and taste, but it doesn't have any nutrients in it. So it's um, lacking in vitamins and nutrients. So you eat it and your body still needs sustenance, the vitamins and the healthy stuff uh, that is in natural food, like, um, you know, uh, white bread, you know, um, um, made with the, uh, the flour and stuff. I believe things like that, um, they are, they don't have as many nutrients as the natural item. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, so why is it so darn hard to lose weight? Because there's a lot of food out there with empty calories. I mean, uh, meaning there's not nutritional value in the food, but the food tastes good. Also, I'm eating when I'm upset, when I'm angry, when I'm nervous, or just when I'm bored, right? And remember, back in the Mayo Clinic, the Mayo Clinic diet, breaking the habit of eating and munching while watching TV, okay? Because you're doing mindless eating. If you eat something while watching TV or you eat something while watching an electronic device, once it's over, you want more. You want more. But if you sit where there is no TV, no electronic devices, and you eat your food either in silence or while looking at a magazine or while talking to your friend or spouse, once you finish, you actually are aware that you've eaten, and so you don't have the mindless munching. Uh, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching TV while you're eating like popcorn, chips, you need to stop. If you're eating things like um, non-carb type vegetables, you know, like celery, carrots, cucumbers. I mean, if you're going to snack while watching TV, I think you should snack on those things. But snacking on chips, popcorn, candy, sweets, while you're watching TV is really, really a bad idea. And just check it out for yourself. When you're used to eating in front of the TV, just uh, be mindful. Okay, I'm going to eat in front of the TV. It's no big deal. Once you eat your portion that you've allotted for yourself, don't you want to get more? So you get some more and you eat that portion. And then maybe finally you're full. Then gauge that. Turn off the TV, off the electronic devices. Just sit at the table or at the chair. Should be a table. And just eat your portion or whatever you got. And then gauge how you feel afterwards. People, the lifestyle is a serious deal. I am struggling. I almost consider suspending my weight loss journey. Yeah. But my friend said, no, I don't think you should suspend it. Because people, I'm studying to get a better job. I'm studying for this new job I have. And I got to clean the house. And I got to do all this other crap. Take care of my dogs and everything. Take care of my husband. Okay, take care of my husband should be first. But he's grown. He can take care of himself. Um, so I wanted to suspend my weight loss journey. Because I wanted to focus on other things. And not focus on healthy lifestyle so but I'm not gonna suspend it I'm gonna continue I'm gonna drive on okay drive on people don't quit keep going keep going now I want y'all to know something very very important I'm gonna eat this pie I am. I'm going to eat this pie. I am going to eat this pie. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat the pie. But, but, I am going to continue on with my journey. Yes, continue on. So, what's on your plate? Now, why are you eating that? Now, what are your triggers? What are the emotional triggers that cause you to overeat? What is your habits that cause you to overeat? 
Be mindful of the food that you put in your mouth and mindful of the reason you put it in your mouth. Let's see here. So we know we're a, a nation of overeaters. We know that the population um, in general has gotten heavier or more overweight, more obese people, not only in the United States, but also in the world. Um, do, 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 do. We use food for comfort and make us feel better. And um, yeah, you have to get real about the amount of calories you're eating. You think that you're only eating a little bit over. If you write that down, ladies and gentlemen, you are eating like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Some of y'all, some of y'all with those Burger King burgers, Big Macs, and all that craziness, some of y'all are eating four to five thousand more calories a day than you need. And remember, 30. For 3,500 calories make one pound. So if you eat 3,500 calories in excess of what your body burns every single day, that's going to be like five, five pounds easy in like say a 10 day period. You can gain five pounds easy. You know, have you, if you weigh yourself after like Christmas or after Thanksgiving, like four days, you're just eating, eating, eating. You actually gain like three, four, five pounds just in like 10 or 11 days of overeating all of that stuff. So, all right. So, that is the end of my episode four. I want you all to stay encouraged. I want you to make some lifestyle changes. I am going to continue to not eat in front of the TV. I did slip up a couple of times. But overall, me and my husband have been eating without the electronic devices. Um, but that one, I still have not broken 100%. Um, the new book, um, I'll just to let y'all know. Just to let y'all know, uh, the new book that I am reviewing is uh, Dr. Now from My 600 Pound Life. He's got a book, in his book, um, I believe it's called uh, People Don't Lie. Okay, Scales Don't Lie, People Do. So he always says that, you know, scale doesn't lie, people do. So I sent him an email wanting to use some of his book on my class. Um, I don't have the chapters down here, but there's two chapters that are really, really, I think, um, helpful, all right? One of the things that he says is there are no such thing as a healthy snack. Can you believe it? All these years, you know, we eat healthy, eat healthy, have a snack, have a snack, have a snack. Some people, when they're working out, have the eat six times a day little meals. Dr. Now's book, he says it in more than one place. There's no such thing as a happy, uh, as a healthy snack. Okay, so that's his his book, <clears throat> and so I decided that I'm going to try to reframe from snacking, or if I do snack, it needs to be carrots, celery, things of that nature. Uh, so um, while I'm doing his book or reviewing his book or reading his book. Um, I am going to do my best to reframe from snacks. And honestly, when I first started this journey and I was eating twice a day because I would get up late, eat a meal, and then eat a meal for dinner, I really wasn't snacking. And I was losing weight pretty decent at first <laughs> until I messed it up because, you know, I'm trying to sabotage myself. But no, no, no sabotage. No self-sabotage. No. Okay, people. So, not only what's on your plate, but why are you eating that? Why are you eating that item? Uh, is it a healthy item? And then consider no snacking. Dr. Now says there's no such thing as a healthy snack, so... Maybe no snacking. All right. Thank you so much for joining me in episode two. Please put your comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button or hit that thumbs up like button and help me get at least, I'm trying to get me a hundred subscribers by the end of the year. 
the end of the year, I want to have at least 100 subscribers. All right, then. Um, remember, what's on your plate? And if it's not making you skinnier, maybe it shouldn't be on your plate. All right. Bye.